welcome to the Lost Cabin Lodge. This is our latest installment, October 13th, Friday, 2017. It's October in Brown County and things are really starting to happen. Trees are popping, and changing colors. and Well, it's a beautiful time to be in Brown County. The Lost Cabin Lodge is brought to you by Bear Walla Distillery, the Brown County Inn, the Brown County Playhouse and Performing Arts Center, the Carmel Corn Cottage, and Mike's Music and Dance Barn, right down at the bottom of Schooner Hill. Our guest today is the band Hamilton Creek. A lot of local boys, a lot of good veteran bluegrass guys in this band. There's Danny Harden on banjo and vocals, and Neil Smith playing guitar and singing. Frank Hillegoss on bass, Kevin Cox on mandolin, fiddle, and vocals. It's a real good combination. These guys are good traditional bluegrass pickers. It's a real good sound. And they're basically setting the benchmark for the people that come after them to let them know, hey guys, here's what it sounds like. Here's where you go. There's a lot of good traditional tunes. One, Pine Mountain, that Danny's dad wrote. It's a great tune. It's one of my favorites. Hamilton Creek was nominated for the best band in Brown County at the Brown County Music Awards. And in 2015, they represented bluegrass music at the Brown County Music Celebration at the Brown County Playhouse. It was a great deal. Their influences are Bill Monroe, Larry Sparks, Flatt and Scruggs, J.D. Crow, Third Time Out. Good traditional bluegrass music. Now here's a song by Hamilton Creek. Pine Mountain. Went up to the mountain, Grandpa looks well. Hills of Ledger County and the tales he will tell. The Lost Cabin Lodge is brought to you by our sponsors, Bear Walla Distillery, the Brown County Inn, the Brown County Playhouse and Performing Arts Center, the Carmel Corn Cottage, and Mike's Music and Dance Barn. Bear Walla Distillery, located in Gnawbone, is one of Indiana's first craft distilleries. They use locally sourced grains and cook them down in a copper pot just the way our forebearers did. Bring the kids in for a non-alcoholic taste and check us out, 
BearWalletDistillery.com. From a rustic open air barn to a 426 seat performance space, the Brown County Playhouse has come a long way and is continuing to build a successful tradition of music in Nashville. And it's also Brown County's only movie theater. And they have great sound, snacks, beer and wine. Check them out, browncountyplayhouse.org. Hi everybody, welcome to the Lost Cabin Lodge Hemp Report. Today's Hemp Report is a little bit different in that it's sort of a public service announcement. This is something that we've seen happening in the last few months in Indiana and it's really exciting. And we're happy to pass this information on to our fellow Hoosiers and all interested parties. The great thing about it is the fact that CBDs, which are a very healthful, we believe, uh, additive to our daily regime, are available now in Indiana at most of your health food stores. Many of the health food stores in Indiana carry CBD oils in one form or another. Now there's something you should really understand with this and that is it's CBD oil. It's There's no THC, there's none of the psychoactive components of traditional cannabis. Uh, some people would argue that it's a catalyst in aiding the CBDs, but that research is still out and there's a lot of people willing to do that research. So that information is yet to come. As for now, you can get pure CBD oil in many of your health food restaurants. You can just walk in and find it on the shelf. A lot of it comes in the two to 10 milligram per bottle range. It is something that is easily ingested. Uh, it's about half a dropper per dose and uh, you can uh, ingest it sublingually, which you have uh, uh, blood very close to the surface under your tongue, or you can put the cannabinol isolate in your vape pen or your device, and you can vape this uh, CBD oil and get it into your bloodstream immediately via your lungs. That is a real direct way to get that benefit. A lot of folks just simply eat it in Indiana. It's listed as a dietary supplement. So there's many different ways that you can ingest the oil. So to cap it all off, we just wanted to let everybody know, feel free to go to your health food store, your grocery store, your pharmacy, and start asking them for CBD oil and cannabinol isolate. It's very, very beneficial to our health, our bodies are predisposed for this particular plant. So feel free to ask your druggist, your uh, counter people at the health food store. Enjoy this in good health. And thanks from the Lost Cabin Lodge. Here's another song by the Hamilton Creek Boys. They're pretty darn good. This one's called... Truck driving man. When I stop that road, half Texas, a place called Hamburg Dance. And that waitress, she poured me some coffee. Yeah. 
me some coffee Cause I'm a truck driver man Well pour me another cup of coffee For it is the best in the land And I'll put a nickel in the jukebox And play that truck driving man And play that truck driving The Lost Cabin Lodge is brought to you by our sponsors, Bear Walla Distillery, the Brown County Inn, the Brown County Playhouse and Performing Arts Center, the Carmel Corn Cottage, and Mike's Music and Dance Barn. The Brown County Inn has been a mainstay in Nashville, Indiana since 1974. It's been a place to gather for local families and visitors alike. In 2015, they underwent a renovation from top to bottom. Come check us out on browncountyinn.com. The Carmel Corn Cottage is located on the north end of Nashville, Indiana at 882 North Van Buren Street. Just follow the delicious aroma of Carmel and you'll find one of the friendliest shops in the village with 10 types of Carmel Corn. Check us out on Facebook or go to carmelcorncottage.com. If you like live music, dancing, food, and fun, go to Mike's Music and Dance Barn. It's a smoke-free facility with a 2,500 square foot oak dance floor. A full restaurant and bar. Go online at mikesmusicbarn.com. Plates by Tramp Star. Don't seem like plates is very much, just dishes dabbed with paint and such. But all the same, they sort of keep a family record, so to speak. A record of long and happy years that turns to lonesomeness and tears. Set out, young married couples do, by setting plates just for two. Then for you know it, seems to me, they lay out plates for three. Then after that might say, the rate mounts up to maybe six or eight. At first, just two plates don't seem too bad. Folks never miss what they ain't had. But after plates has once been set, the saddest tasks discovered yet is picking them up one by one till you get back to where you begun. Two plates when six or eight were there and noise and clatter everywhere. Small young'uns holler to their toes. Short on manners, goodness knows. First babies and then children grown. Then two plates sitting all alone. Don't seem like plates is very much but they hold memories and such. Love wove in every flowered wreath and every nick dear beyond belief. Worst task I know under the sun is picking plates up one by one. Here's a great song by our buddies Hamilton Creek. It's called Big Spy Camera. It's how I like to do 
Howdy, howdy. It's Frank Jones again with Lost Cabin Lodge here. We've got a little public service announcement we'd like to run by everybody who's visiting Brown County and maybe even for people who live here or just moved here, whatever. And it, it concerns the changing of the seasons and riding motorcycles in Brown County. There's a lot of motorcycle wrecks in Brown County every year because of the windy roads and the different elements. And I just wanna give you a little bit of information today about what those elements are. Everybody comes to Brown County to see the falling leaves. And it's a beautiful thing because they change different colors. Everybody knows the shtick. Well, when they, when they fall, they, they don't fall all at once. They fall a little bit at a time. And the problem with that is that when they're on a road, like say it's really dry for a while, and then it rains all of a sudden, knocks down a bunch of the leaves, the leaves are wet on the dry road, and it is slick. It's really like, sand in a lot of instances and you can slide right off the road and if anybody's ever driven roads in Brown County they know pretty well that they're not banked to keep you on the road so anything like leaves or sand or a little bit of snow or ice swing you're right off the side and now you're in the ditch and that's never any fun so that's something to watch out for the other thing are the graded bridges that are in brown county especially for motorcycles i don't want to say a lot but there's already been a couple instances where people have gone at them or tried to maneuver them at an angle in a curve and it's always a bad situation and the operative word here is graded bridge because when you fall that's what it does to whatever it hits it grates it it's like a little metal cheese grater that's that you drive over now the good thing is it doesn't ice over the bad thing is if you fall on it it will cut you up so keep that in mind the fall also brings stuff like hickory nuts and walnuts down out of the trees by the bajillions and be ready to dodge them especially if you're on a motorcycle we have a lot of folks that come down here because it's a beautiful place to ride no bones about that it's really really nice so if you're cruising back on 135 south or something uh be careful it's real windy like all roads in brown county and there's nuts on the road and then there's leaves on the road be aware of all those variables that might bring you down or toss you into a ditch oh yeah and for you folks that are coming down four-wheeling and having all your fun that you can enjoy yourselves but please be mindful uh in four-wheelers and regular automobiles or whatever uh be mindful that there's a lot of motorcycles out there on the roads so be aware of other people coming down the road a lot of folks in brown county uh sometimes send, uh, take their half out of the middle so be aware of all this be ready to react watch out for bikers too and i don't mean motorbikes i mean cyclists because we've got iu just 15 miles away and boy these guys love to ride these back roads coming in from 45 and all this so just be mindful of them be courteous try to keep the wood woody woodpecker glove on a pole at a minimum so that's all i would say is be kind watch for your friends on the road happy driving and have a great time in brown county enjoy this october have fun Well, that's it for another Lost Cabin Lodge. We'd like to thank Hamilton Creek for submitting their music and being with us here in spirit. Dave and Frank and Neil and Dan, a bunch of good boys playing good traditional bluegrass. We'd like to thank our sponsors today. The Bear Wallet Distillery, Brown County Inn, Brown County Playhouse and Performing Arts Center, the Carmel Corn Cottage, and Mike's Music and Dance Bar. We appreciate their support. They keep us going. Thanks for joining.